Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a kind of a wrap up brand review on Evolve H. If you've been following me, um, you will know that I've been trying all their different products. You will all, uh, you might also know that originally what got me started trying them out was that they had a very highly anticipated uh, Wonder Balm for curls. Um, they offered at the time a couple months ago at their launch a little like trial set of their smart curl hydrating wash and conditioner and then a deluxe size of their balm. I it was like 20 25 dollars they don't currently offer this right now i don't know if they will again in the future but i picked it up and they uh i tried it out i wasn't in love i did a review they saw it contacted me and since gave me some tips on how to use it um, and I tried it different ways and I ended up loving it. I will link those videos below. I have since then, they were gracious enough to send me, it's like everything trial size that they have in their line they sent to me and so I got to try everything. And so I will leave the links to the shampoo and conditioner and all the different ones that I've tried but I'll give a little bit of a review and then I'll link the rest below if you want a little bit more detail and then I'm just going to talk about the brand in general and just the everything at the overview. overview. So we've gone over a lot of the different products. There's only maybe two that I haven't hit on and it's like the finishing balm and their hair mask. I will talk about that shortly, but when I wanna talk about reviewing brands and products, I think it's really important, I think from my stance anyways, to do a use start to finish everything in their line. Their shampoo, their conditioner, and then their, their products. I think so like, and this is from a curly girl like standpoint and I'm sure anybody else with any kind of hair can relate. But what we tend to do is pick out one thing that we think is interesting from the line and use it. And if it doesn't work, or maybe it could work even better, we don't have the full picture of the product because these companies formulate their products to fit in with the line. And so when we're grabbing a shampoo from here, grabbing a, a conditioner from there, a product styling product here, a healing oil there, not that you can't do that, but I think to really understand the line fully, um, using it start to finish, so I'm really loving any company that has trial sizes because I don't have the time uh, or the money, I'm sorry, to invest in full size shampoo, conditioner, product, mask, oil, finishing, uh, leave-in conditioner. That's just a lot. And so I'm really glad that this brand offers that. Everything in their line, they offer a trial size of, travel size really, because everything is about two ounces. And so I love that about that product. So keep that in mind in the future, and I'm gonna be keeping that in mind and kind of reiterating that to you guys in future brand reviews that I'm going to be doing. But for me, the shampoo and conditioner, um, the curl one is supposed to be, the smart curl is supposed to be more moisturizing than the ultra shine, and I, I found that to be true. Um, this, the, sh the conditioner, as I noted before, both conditioners don't have a ton of slip. As a curly girl, we tend to use conditioner as a leave-in. Um, word from me, um, and also how they advise you to use all their products, is to use um, start very small and then go from there. If I was straightening my hair, I wouldn't use as much conditioner as I do use. So we do tend to use that. And I don't use a leave-in to kind of detangle, or a detangler to detangle my hair. So for the price of the conditioner, I probably would not suggest doing that. Um, so generally, it's a good conditioner. For a curly girls, it does not offer a lot of slip, and I know we tend to look for that. So they have the Smart Curl line shampoo and conditioner, and then they have their regular, and of course I'm not gonna be able to find the conditioner here, but is their, um, just their basic Ultra Shine Moisture Shampoo, and I don't know where the conditioner is. I believe I'm actually using it right now. So it's the same thing, pretty comparable to one another. This is a little bit more hydrating. So um, I, I, these are great. I actually have several more of these and, I'm, and even the full sizes and I'm absolutely gonna be using them. So I believe I talked about that a couple times in a couple of the different reviews, but those are their shampoo and conditioner. Now I wanna show you, this is how much I have left of this balm, but I'm telling you, 
I probably have at least two to three more uses out of this teeny tiny little thing. Um, I was very skeptical of how much it costs. This is the full size. I don't even know how long it will take me to get through this because I've used this easily 15 times, um, 10 to 15 times. I've used it by itself. I've used it layered. I've used it to refresh. I used it the very first time. I used way too much. I used it on my hand. I showed it in a video. I've used it, showed it to other people. So this balm gets through a lot. It is $59 for the full size. Absolutely, it's three ounces, uh, three point four ounces. It's travel size, and so so you could easily travel with it. This has become a staple for me. I do like the weight that it leaves on my hair. I have I used it to finish my hair today. Um, it leaves my scalp feeling differently. I link the little video below because there is a little bit of a learning curve on this. If you're used to using any other product as a curly girl, you might massively fail if you don't use it appropriately. With any of their products. A little goes a very long way. Their products are highly concentrated. And so just use a little bit and go from there. So the styling lotion, the total control cream, and their finishing balm all have a water soluble silicone in it, cyclomethicone. It is water soluble, it is non comedogenic, and um, it evaporates. They are like 90 some odd percent natural or um, ingredients. So if you are a purist, I've mentioned it in my videos below, just make note that this is in there. I've been using them for a month now at least and I haven't noticed buildup or, or any issue or that my hair is feeling dry because the moisture can't get in or for whatever reason we avoid silicones, I've had no issue with those. So just make note that these are the three that have it. If there is any more and I don't believe that there is, I will make note of that. Starting with their five in one ultimate styling lotion is a really great lotion. It is um, it is pretty versatile. I think if you are one that loves layering, I would use this one, but you can absolutely use it on its own. It's light. I got volume from it too. Um, next, that is their most, I would almost call it like a lotion gel hybrid, and it would be their total control styling cream. Um, this styling cream you can again use alone. I'd probably err on using it alone. I, um, I liked it. This has a little bit of a different scent than the lotion. It actually scented similar to the mask, which I clearly used up. Depending on the length of my hair, depending on how they might be feeling or what I want to kind of do with it, if I want to really just um, use one product and go, I would use this one. I do tend to like to layer just a tiny bit, but even so, I might want even softer, looser, not as held up layers. That's something that I, I look for in a product sometimes, depending on, on the look that I want. So I might go for the lotion, but both of these are lovely products. I love them a lot. Um, and I haven't used, again, highly concentrated, use them sparingly. These are very nice products. They then have two leave-in conditioners. They have their Smart Start leave-in conditioner, uh, leave-in uh, Uber detangler for protecting. And then they have their Smart Volume leave-in conditioner uh, for thickening, no frizz, shine, and volume. I tend towards the volumizing one. I like to put this underneath the products. I like to use this to refresh second day hair. I've been using this to detangle my daughter's hair and it seems to work very well. And if I didn't have this one, I would just go to this. A note on the entire line is it is pretty scented. And if I, I work at a hospital and I, there's a lot of times I can't have any scents on me. And so I can't use these products generally. They don't stick around like typical synthetic fragrances, but um, I don't refresh my hair the next day with this if I know I'm going to go into the hospital that day. Uh, but I do still use the product and I haven't had any issue. Um, this can be overwhelming, the scent, when you're spraying it like crazy. I have been a little bit overwhelmed with the scent, but it doesn't, it's very, um, it dissipates very quickly. And so I don't mind that at all. But if you are somebody that's sensitive to scents um, and you don't like scents very heavy, I'd be cautious or I would just take note of it. And if you're somebody that misses the scent in Green Beauty, you'll really like it. It's a very lovely, it's a very lovely scent. The last two products that have not been mentioned on here, actually I don't think I've mentioned the um, conditioners or the leave-in conditioners, is the Super Finish Polish, Polishing Balm, and the Ultra Repair Reconstructing Mask. This was a very nice mask. I actually had to use quite a bit. I probably didn't need to, uh, but I did because I wanted the full effect. This has a very fruity scent to it. I don't, I'm not super crazy about it. So when I left it in my hair, I wasn't very excited about it, but it did leave my hair 
feeling very nice. Um, definitely a nice treatment for my hair. A little bit of that scent, and you can tell in the color, is in the Total Control Styling Cream. It doesn't bother me. It's just not my most favorite scent. It's just a little fruity. Um, but it goes away so quickly once you rinse it off and it's not there. But this is very nice. Let me talk a little bit about the mask. So their Constructive Mask is an intensive treatment for hair that's been compromised by color or bleach, um, bleach processing, heat styling, or environmental, factor, environmental factors. Um, it leaves, it's highly effective for smoothing coarse, curly, or frizz prone hair, it leaves bouncy, shiny, silky. It totally, absolutely did that. And it says to, after showering, spritz a generous amount evenly through the damp towel dry hair, let it sink in for a minute before styling as usual. Bonus, it can be applied to dry hair for ref refreshing lifeless locks. I did not use it like that. I used it as a mask. So I probably used it wrong. So I probably used it wrong. Um, but I can see that um, it did leave my hair feeling very nice. I ended up washing it out. So I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I There is a bit left. So I will try it again and see. I'm not sure how I might use this, but I'm going to try the rest of this and see. So it's uh, conditions deep. So really it's just like a deep conditioner. That's how I use it. I just went a little bit overboard. So you don't need a ton. And especially if you're somebody and a lot of people that follow me, um, there's several that, of you that don't use any product at all. Um, so if you really need a good uh, step up your conditioner, this would be one of them. And then last but not least is the finishing balm. So the Super Finish Polishing Balm and it says that many stylists call the Super Finish the perfect product. It delivers brilliant shine, defrizzes, and controls flyaways, plus it moisturizes and protects without being greasy or added weight. It's an incredible alternative to oil. So the suggested use on this is to apply to damp hair while air drying. You can also use it to dry hair after blow drying or flat ironing to smooth polish uh, for a nice polished sleek look. Um, you'll have hair with brilliant shine without frizz or pesky flyaways. I used this a couple times on my second day hair, depending, especially with the Wonder Balm, I don't like to re-spritz because I like, I actually have really soft curls and I don't mind that they fall as the days go because it still looks really good. But um, for the flyaways or I use just a little bit, I'll even show you right now. Eee, that's even probably too much. I use just a tiny bit, get it all in my hands. It's very light. And then I would just like for the halo, I might scrunch it in a little bit if I have it anywhere. This isn't second day hair, but this is how I would do it. Or to separate my curls a little bit and to give just a, um, a little refresher without having to refresh with like a spray and like dry it. And sometimes refreshing sprays, depending on the day or the, the way it is outside, makes my hair um, a little get added halo frizz. So oh, this little thing was gonna ask, last me a incredibly long time. So that is their entire product. That is their entire line of their products. They have a lot of products and um, I like, I love them all. The star of the entire show is the Wonder Balm Magic for Curls. I love this stuff. And it really was, I really wanted to hate it. It was too expensive. There wasn't enough product in it. It barely had any ingredients in it. But this product is really, really, really wonderful. It leaves my hair feeling, my hair is very light, um, fine. It's hard to describe. When I put my hair in a ponytail, it feels like I just have a pipe cleaner for a hair. It's weird. This adds weight to my hair in just the most indescribable way. I do not apply it praying hands. I apply it scrunching it towards the roots up. And I can even just doing that from the, from the, I'm sorry, from the, from the ends to my roots, just that way, I can feel, I can feel it, the difference of how my hair even falls at my scalp. This will last me such a long time. I've been using this for my go-to. Um, the thing that I like about their products and I guess in their line in general, um, all of their products, their styling products are incredibly hydrating. So their shampoo and conditioner isn't like the most hydrating. It's just very regular, basic hydrating condition, shampoo and conditioner. But I feel that that really ba balances it out. And especially in comparing other 
um, brands currently, I noticed that some of them have a lot of moisture in the conditioning and shampooing part and not so much in their products. So if with Evolve H, their products are incredibly moisturizing, which is part of you know their philosophy on using a little bit, it's very concentrated, that you know, a little goes a long way. So if you are somebody, so if you're pulling their shampoo or conditioner, or you're pulling their products, you're like, oh, this is so heavy. I think looking, taking a step back and looking at their entire line, that as you use them all, start to finish as they're intended, shampoo all the way to finishing balm, you will have a nice even balance of moisture, condition, um, polish and shine and whatever it is that you want out of the whole range. So if one product doesn't work for you the right way, I might take a step back and kind of reevaluate what else in your um, what else in your routine might be hindering on that because when I use them start to finish, I've had luck with every single product, um, even when I really absolutely thought that I wouldn't. So it might just take a little bit of adjusting because they are different. I think you can't just replace, especially the curls, the um, the Wonder Ball Magic for curls, you can't just take that and, and use it like you would a regular serum or a gel. And I learned that the hard way, but I'm so glad I learned it that way. So this um, brand is great. Their customer service is wonderful. Um, they are, this is definitely a standout product. I was very skeptical. If you follow me on Instagram, if you follow me, any, I've seen those other videos, you know, I was trying to be incredibly respectful because it's a great brand. And I was so happy that they reached out, helped me to, um, better understand these products. And now I, my mind is totally changed and I am a, definitely a customer for life. I want to thank them for providing me with all these trial. They didn't, ask me to do a video. They didn't insinuate to do a video, but um, it gave me some content to do. And a lot of people, I don't see a lot of reviews of their products. So I got a chance to do that. So they were gracious enough to provide me with lots of different products of theirs to try. And they were also gracious enough to give me a full size, actually two full sizes of the Wonder Ball Magic for Curls. So you guys know that that tiny little thing of the Wonder Bomb, I it lasted me a month. I actually have two more of the tiny little deluxe sizes, and so it's gonna take me a very long time to get through it. So I wanna do a giveaway with the, this full size of the Wonder Ball Magic for Curls. So all you have to do is head over to my Instagram, and I'm gonna have some rules on there on how to do that, and I'm at the clean curl. And so I haven't decided the full rules yet, but by the time this video posts, I will. So I wanna thank them. Thank you guys for watching and all your comments, um, and, and a lot of you for buying the some of the stuff to try it along with me. I've really enjoyed your feedback, and um, and I've seen some really wonderful results from some people. So I want this to go to somebody that really wants to use it. It's going to last you a, such a long time, and this is a really wonderful product that I'm so happy to be able to give this to somebody else because I've really had I really do love this product, and I want somebody to love it as well. So head over to my Instagram. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to Evolve H. Um, please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any other product and brand reviews. Bye.